Exodus, Exile, and Redemption. Section 2. Knowing Hashem. Chapter 11. The Development of Yaakov's Character To understand Yaakov's character, we might focus on the description of it provided explicitly in the verse. Quote, Yaakov was an innocent man. Genesis 25, 27. Note, the Hebrew adjective tam, as used in the Yaakov ish tam, Yaakov was an innocent man, can also be translated as simple, sincere, or wholehearted. The precise meaning of this context isn't relevant for our purposes, as shall become evident. End note. However, our attention is drawn not to the quality of innocence asserted of Yaakov in this verse, but rather to something that was omitted from the character description. The Hebrew adjective tam, meaning innocent, is often paired in Tanakh with another laudatory adjective, yosher, which means literally straight, i.e. honest. For example, the righteous Job is described as a man who was, quote, innocent and straight. Job 1 1. Note, for other instances of this pairing, see 1 Kings 9 4, Psalms 25 22, etc. The, ter- the two terms combined might be a hendiadis, a figure of speech in which two words connected by a conjunction are used to express a single notion that would normally be expressed by an adjective and a substantive. End note. The elision of this adjective in the description of Yaakov's youthful character suggests that, although he was Tam, he was not yet Yosher. His honesty wasn't developed. This impression gains further confirmation from the Tzaddik's name change from Yaakov to Yisrael and Yeshurun. Yisrael in Genesis 32.29 and Yeshua in Isaiah 44.2. Yaakov earned his birth name due to the fact that he was born clutching his twin brother Esau's heel, his Akave, a symbol hinting at Yaakov's desire to surpass Esau. This desire became evident when Yaakov persuaded Esau to sell him his birthright and then deceived their father Yitzchak into giving him the blessing intended for Esau. Upon learning of this deception, Esau cried out, quote, Was his name called Yaakov that he should trick me, Vayakveni, now twice? He took away my birthright, and now he has taken away my blessing. Genesis 27.36 Esau imbued his brother's name with deeper etymological significance. He transformed Yaakov into a verb derived from akov, meaning crooked. In Esau's view, Yaakov was a trickster embodying the crookedness symbolized by the heel he clutched at birth. The change of Yaakov's name to Yisrael and Yeshurun responds to this derogatory connotation. Yisrael and Yeshurun both contain the letters of the word Yashar, straight, which is the opposite of Akov, crooked. His name change indicates a positive development in his character, in line with the promise of the prophecy, quote, The crooked shall be made straight. Isaiah 44. Note, Vahya Ha'akov Lemishar. See Nachmanides' commentary on the Torah, Deuteronomy 2.10. They alter the name Yaakov, which has a connotation of trickery or crookedness, and call it Yeshurun as in innocent and straight. Also, Nachmanides writes, Ibid 7.12, quote, Thus they call Yaakov Yeshurun, changing the crooked to straight. Etc. The back of the foot is called a cave since it is rounded. End quote. End note. Innocent in his youth, Yaakov eventually became straight as well, following the trajectory described in this verse. Quote, the righteousness of the innocent will make their path straight. Proverbs 11.5 Innocence leads to straight ways. Eventually, Yaakov developed into a straight character, but until then, he acted with some deceit. First in his dealings with Esau, and then in his dealings with Laban. 
Yaakov, using a clever and guileful stratagem, enriched himself at Laban's expense. See Genesis 30, 28-43. Because of this character flaw, the prophets criticize Yaakov. In fact, they utilize his persona as an archetypical cheat in their admonitions to his descendants, the people of Israel. Hosea said, quote, Ephraim has surrounded me with lies, the house of Israel with deceit, etc. Hashem has a dispute with Yehuda and will punish Yaakov according to his ways, etc. In the womb he cheated, Akav, his brother, etc. But you must return to your God, keep loving kindness and justice, etc. A merchant in whose hand are cheating scales he loves to exploit, etc. And Yaakov fled to the field of Aram, etc. Ephraim has provoked bitter anger, etc. And his master shall pay him back for his contempt. Hosea 12. Micha too utilizes the figure of Yaakov and the message alluded to by his changing names. Quote, Should it be said, O house of Yaakov, is Hashem's patient, patience short? Are these his acts? Do not my words do good to him who walks straight? Yashar. Micha 2, 7. Quote, Hear this, please, leaders of the house of Yaakov and captains of the house of Israel, who despise justice and everything straight, Hayashara, they twist who build Zion with bloodshed and Jerusalem with iniquity. Ibid 3, 9-10 Jeremiah as well faults Yaakov and his descendants for their dishonesty and calls upon Yaakov's actions towards his brother at birth as a symbol of treachery. The passage also hints that it was this deficiency that withheld Yaakov from reaching true knowledge of Hashem. Quote, And they bend their tongues like their bow for lies, and they are not valiant for the truth upon the earth etc. And me they have not known, said Hashem, etc. Each man beware of his fellow and do not trust in any brother, for every brother deals crookedly, Akov Yaakov, and every fellow man spreads slander. Each man tricks his fellow and truth they do not speak. They have taught their tongue to speak lies, etc. Your dwelling is in the midst of deceit. In deceit they refuse to know me, said Hashem. Etc. They speak deceit. With his mouth, man speaks peace to his fellow and inwardly lays an ambush for him. Etc. The wise man should not boast in his wisdom. Etc. The one who boasts should boast in this, that he understands and knows me. For I am Hashem, who acts with kindness, justice, and righteousness in the land. Jeremiah 9, 2-23 The knowledge proffered to mankind with the divine offer of I am Hashem is withheld from the brother who deals crookedly, as Yaakov dealt with his own brother Esau. Lastly, Isaiah also references Yaakov's dishonesty and its recurrence in the nation he fathered, highlighting how this trait obstructs the path to knowing Hashem. Quote, Hear this house of Yaakov, who are called by the name of Israel, etc., who swear by the name of Hashem, and make mention of the God of Israel, but not in truth, nor in righteousness, etc., and they lean on the God of Israel. Hashem of armies is his name, etc., you have not heard. You have not known. Even from long ago your ear has not been open, for I knew you would surely betray, and you were called a rebel from the womb. For the sake of my name, I will hold back my wrath. Isaiah 48, 1-9 Those who act in untruth and corruption can't attain the knowledge of the name. The nation descended from Yaakov, who cheated his brother in the womb, doesn't hear Hashem's introduction by name and doesn't learn to know him. This underscores the notion explored in an earlier chapter. Good character precedes faith on the path to knowledge. As only individuals with inherent goodness can genuinely cultivate faith in the absolute goodness of Hashem. Hashem.